What up, homeboys? We finally got some news for the private servers because it's been kind of slow lately. We are getting a fresh World of Warcraft Cataclysm server on December 12th, not 13 days from now. Uh, less than two weeks from now. And it's gonna be Apollo 3. Uh, it's from the Twin Star Network, but as far as I could check, they don't have the same people that worked on Kronos, and in my opinion, that's great. But we're gonna see, okay? And they are going to release on Sunday the 12th of December at around 12 UTC plus 1. I looked it up and it's 8 a.m. North America time, uh, Eastern Coast, more or less. It's going to be kind of awkward for NA, kind of an awkward release time for NA. But at the same time, you know what? It's going to be a Sunday. You're not going to be working. So most people will are going to be able to log in, log in anyway. And one of the specifics of the realm that is pretty interesting is that they are going to release everything up to Wrath of the Lich King without the raids at first and then they are gonna release after 10 days of launch they're gonna release all the raids and dungeons and level 85 content I do not like that at all I have criticized Kronos in the past for not having raids on launch and I will criticize those people here for the same thing the race to world first is one of the most exciting things uh, that people always like to watch and, and work on and we are being robbed of that experience and this time I actually got an explanation as to why they do it because Kronos didn't give me an explanation and that is feedback okay so it turns out these people are listening to the three idiots on reddit that complain that a timeline is too, is too fast okay I'm gonna give you a secret to start I'm gonna give you some consulting for free uh, because I'm such a nice guy, yeah, you would probably not get this information from anybody that is not an expert on this industry, but I'm gonna give it to you for free, all right? The people that complain are not gonna play your server, dude. Do not pander to them. Like, god damn it, dude. Why do you have to listen to the same three idiots that complain on one server all the time? They, those people are not gonna play your server or any server. Dude. But anyway, Reforging is going to be live uh, at launch and Transmog, which is going to be fun. You know, I, I like doing that, that stuff. I actually like Reforging a lot. I wish they didn't take it out in retail. And they are going to gate the guild content, you know, because Cataclysm has like guild achievements and stuff. They are going to gate it until the, the 10 days thingy. And the experience rate is going to be 3x. Uh, from levels 1 to 79, but 80 to 85 are gonna be a uh, normal bliss like and the, until the realm first is taken, then this is gonna be 3x. So actually guys, honestly, I keep seeing more and more reasons to wait 10 days before playing this server. Like honestly, uh, may, maybe not 10 days, okay, maybe I'm being unfair, maybe three day, uh, 7 days, you know, so you give yourself 3 days, to level 1 to 80 and then you just wait for 85 uh, until they change the experience rates or whatever and then you do the 80 to 85 like if you're not gonna be able to raid anyway what's the point of being there at launch like i don't see any point at all i might just take it slow i'm gonna be playing this at launch for a while i'm gonna try it out i am not a cynical douche i know people don't like me but I'm gonna give it a chance, you know, uh, uh, it's not like I got anything else to do, like I'm gonna finish college tomorrow, I'm gonna do my last exam and I'm gonna be free, I should be studying by the way, I should be studying. But, but yeah, this is pretty much everything I know about Apollo 3, the only notable thing that I could make out of this, for now, is that they are gonna do loot arbitration, and... Maybe I should contact the staff of Apollo to talk about this because uh, there's one thing here that I think is a huge oversight and it might create a lot of tickets and problems for you. Like uh, it's not only going to be super toxic, it's also going to give you a lot of work that you shouldn't have to do, Apollo staff. And that is here, this rule, standard loot rules. If the raid master looter doesn't state specific loot rules, the following rules will apply. 
In each raid which loot is distributed using the master loot option, loot will be distributed to a person who rolls the higher via roll. Uh, okay, so what they are saying is that if you don't say the root rules, it is considered a loot ra a rolling loot system for the raid. And you may be wondering what's so bad about it. Here's the problem. The problem is that let's say you do a raid and the raid is master looter, and uh, you forget to and you forget to screenshot yourself saying the roots the loot rules. And one month later, one idiot, one asshole, one douche comes into Discord and says, Hey mods, I've been ninja'd, I got a screenshot of giving the item to Master Loot to this guy, but uh, there's no screenshot of the loot rules, so it was a, a rolling raid. Even though you probably posted the, loot, the rules, if you don't have a screenshot a month from now, you're gonna be in trouble. You would, you would technically be in the wrong, even if you did everything right. And that's why I suggest for the Apollo staff that the loot rule should be the same loot rule that we had in, in Retail WoW back in the day, uh, because they actually did loot arbitration in Retail WoW for a while. And that is that the burden of proving what the loot rules are is on the accuser. So let me explain what you should do, in my opinion, is when somebody says that they've been ninja the guy that's accusing uh, the master looter of ninja an item should fig should come up with the screenshot of the master looter saying the, the rule the loot rules that way you will prevent people lying about the loot rules the, the master looter should not be responsible for having the screenshots of himself saying that because i know you're not gonna check the logs like they are going to make a report of something that happened three weeks ago and the, your, the, the GMs are expected to read through three days of messages. That's not going to happen. I know you're not going to read the chat logs when somebody does that. So how are you going to deal with this? Honestly, it would be so much simpler if you would be on the burden of the guy that is accusing to have the screenshot of somebody saying the loot rules. Because I agree, if somebody lies about the loot rules and keeps an, an item they should be banned but i think you're facing this the wrong way but anyways guys this is pretty much everything i got about apollo overall i'm gonna test it out uh, i am hopeful i am hopeful it's probably not gonna be big but at the same time uh, it doesn't need to be big it's just a cataclysm server you can raid on 25 and 10 men so you know i like cataclysm a lot actually i know people are gonna hate me for it but I actually like Cataclysm a lot more than I like Wrath of the Lich King. It's probably my third most favorite expansion out there. I do not hate it, so I'm gonna be playing it. Maybe not for long. We're gonna see. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Please subscribe if you find this video useful. Uh, hit the notification bell to see more videos because we got a lot more coming. And have a great day.